Mr. President, as we speak, students around the world, including in the Islamic Republic of Iran, are beginning a new academic year. Sadly, however, Iran's Baha'i youth may once again be denied their fundamental right to higher education. This is a severe human rights violation to which generation after generation of Baha'is have been subjected. This exclusion of Baha'is from higher education is but one facet of the systematic policy of the Iranian government to eradicate the community as a viable entity. Another is its impoverishment. For nearly 40 years, Baha'is have been barred from working in the public sector and severely restricted in the private sector. A further step, step of this plan is now taking place before our eyes as small businesses owned by Baha'is are shut down and sealed by provincial authorities striving to deprive them of their remaining means of earning a decent living. The community also remains under pressure through raids on homes by agents of the Ministry of Intelligence where Baha'is are often arbitrarily arrested and detained and their personal items are confiscated. Approximately 60 Baha'is are currently imprisoned throughout Iran solely because of their religious beliefs. Baha'i cemeteries continue to be desecrated and incitement to hatred through state media continues unabated. Mr. President, this is the bleak picture of a situation that has been going on for too long. We call on the international community once again to urge Iran to live up to its commitments and obligations under international and domestic law and to cease its grave persecution. Thank you. Thank you very much.